y'all. It's Renee from Zone 9B Panhandle, Florida region. And right now, the birds are out. Everything is leafing out. I have blossoms coming up everywhere in beautiful, as my husband loves to say, sunny Florida. Um, so I've got to get some fertilizer out into the yard. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the entire yard in this video today. Uh, I am a little bit under the weather. As many of you know, I am an art teacher to elementary students. And by the way, we're an impasse on our contract. So, mm, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But <clears throat> um, I tell a funny, very punny uh, dad type joke at the beginning of every one of my classes to get the kids attention before I start teaching and a lot of the kids think it's open mic night so before I'll let them tell their joke to the entire class I have to hear it quietly first to myself because if um, I deem it to be inappropriate I won't let them tell it and that actually all stems back to uh, something that happened to my daughter and me when we went on a planetarium little field trip and the projector broke. And uh, the whole auditorium's filled with these little kids on field trips. And the presenter said, oh, hey, uh, I can tell you some jokes while we're waiting for the projector to be fixed. So she tells a few really cute kid jokes. And then this adorable little five-year-old boy raises his hand and says, I have a joke, can I tell it? And our presenter's like, is it okay for everyone to hear? adorable little boy goes oh yeah it's fine and then he proceeded to tell the joke yeah mm -hmm. inappropriate bad words you should have seen our presenter no stop and then you should have seen all the parents they were like oh covering their children's ears up so I do let the kids get a little close to me and well I'm sick now so uh, I might be a video or two short this week trying to recover. And like I said, I um, will try to do as much as I can today, uh, especially the Japanese maples. So <clears throat> I know that um, a lot of people use the happy frog and I am not dissing that the frog fertilizer. It is phenomenal. I did it first for the first year or two. Um, but I'm on a teacher's salary right now with no contract. So, over the past couple of years, I've switched over to a Sunderland, which is really economical, and it's just a 666, really balanced, low, and like I said, I live in Florida anyway, there's a lot of sand, it's kind of hard to over-fertilize, just saying. Besides, you want your Japanese maples to grow slowly and have lots of beautiful branching. So, um, I don't mind using that, and like I said, I've used it for a couple years now, and I think that it just grows great. Um, Probably some of them need a little bit of pruning. And what I have learned in sunny Florida is that <clears throat> you do not ever trim a branch on a Japanese maple if you have hopes of it ever growing back there again. Because a lot of times it is just done. It isn't doing anything. It will never come back. I have been pruning trees for a long time. I've lived in my house 25 years. Everything you see here I pretty much put down myself. But those Japanese maples are just different here in this hot southern climate. Super humid. Um, and even trees that are supposed to be, like I have some Japanese maples that are South Korean-like maples. They're difficult. Some of them, I'm just saying. And it's survival of the fittest in my yard. Let me tell you about it. So, um, yeah, you know, I used to have over 50 but I think I'm in the 40s now, but that's okay, you know? Uh, but we're gonna give every tree in here a fighting chance, and then um, it'll be another day to do bushes and other roses. I have my whole backyard to do. Oh, I gotta do the citrus today. So, great news. Yay! My uh, citrus in the backyard that uh, I'm pretty sure had trunk rot, has a whole bunch of new leaves pushing out from it. And the, and I'll show you, but the trunk in the back doesn't look black anymore, where the real thick damage was eaten into the cambrium. So I feel really good about that tree now. I might even wind up spraying it just one more time, but um, not in this video. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, start uh, fertilizing 
all my beautiful maples. I need to do a, a tour with you and let you see what the, some of the varieties that I can remember are. Uh, I might do that first. All right, so this is our first one we're gonna be stopping at and looking at. And this is um, Dancing Peacock. Uh, really hard to grow full moons here in the Florida sun, um, especially on the uh, west facing side of my yard. But it does get a lot of shade, I thought, in the afternoon from this uh, river birch and crepe myrtle. And um, it's hanging on. It, I bought it as a large tree, one of the more expensive ones I've ever bought from a nursery that was going out of business. I think it was like 120 and it was about the size it is now, which is about six foot. Um, but it keeps holding on. And so we're gonna, yeah, admire her for as long as she lasts. <clears throat> okay, so over here, uh, this is Emerald Lace. And as you can see, on the south side, full sun all day long. It probably needs to be cut back a little bit, but um, it is super happy, really happy there. All right, so let's go over here. All right, so this is Ukigumo, and um, I did transplant him, and he's probably about five feet tall. <clears throat> this one was um, eye candy. Um, but here's the thing about um, Japanese maples that are variegated. Something about the heat and sun here makes them revert. So we'll have to see. You can see right now that it is starting to uh, leaf out. But I will um, definitely come back to here and let you all know what it looks like when it's completely leafed. <clears throat> Alright, this is Garnet. Spectacular red, full sun, south facing or west facing uh, tree. Would highly recommend this one. This one is Red Select. When I bought it, it was a stick at Walmart and the entire trunk was split. Took about five to seven years and the split finally closed. Uh, I showed people pictures of it. They couldn't believe it was still alive after so long but it is finally all closed up. Trees can mend themselves amazingly. Okay, this is Tiger Rose, a variegated one that will actually stay variegated. Um, <clears throat> eventually it will green up in the summer, um, but it is hanging, hanging tough here. Let me say my friends, if you're on this side of my house, you gotta be. <clears throat> okay, so this one is Alpine Weiss. It is probably about eight foot right now. Um, and, uh, very rarely will it get variegation. Uh, so this one, it seems like the shadier it might be, the more variegated it gets. <sighs> I'm telling you, these Japanese maples, more sun, less sun, figure yourselves out. That's all I'm saying. But, um, it seems to be very happy in this location. <clears throat> um, over here... Oh no, I knew this was going to happen to me. I have so many, it's hard for me to remember what they are. Ryusin, that's what you are. So this is a Ryusin here. This is one that I actually propagated myself from um, air layering it. So uh, it's starting to leaf out too. Spectacular weeper, can take tons of sun here in Florida. Uh, it's green. Greens usually do great here anyway, but I would definitely recommend that one. <clears throat> All right, so this one <clears throat> ooh, ooh, was supposed to be a Hanuma toy, um, but it did not leaf out as a Hanuma toy. So right now it's a bit of a mystery one. I have a couple of ideas on it. But um, it's still beautiful. It still gets a pretty orangey, uh, reddish color with their new leaves. I'll definitely show that to you. Um, but it is a vigorous grower here. And I've had this in a couple different locations. And unfortunately, it does have to be trimmed back from the path. But it is wonderful. I would definitely recommend sometimes having the no-named Japanese maples. Um, but it is a cut leaf and it is a weeper. 
All right, let's go through the garden gate. All right, so this one is Usugumo. It is bat wing. It has these wonderful brownish, wide, thick leaves that uh, come out from it. Uh, well, I wouldn't say thick, they're more papery thin, but um, I don't know if this is gonna be its forever spot. I'm not sure it gets enough sunlight here, but it's probably about three feet tall. <clears throat> Top five maple right here. This is going to be the beautiful Moonrise. Uh, this is Emmett's Pumpkin, uh, another vigorous grower. It's probably about eight to 10 feet right now. Really nice. Beautiful leaves, not the best form, but that's probably partly due to me. Uh, this is, I wanna say it's Amber Ghost. Uh, peaches. Peaches and cream, that's what it is. It is a peaches and cream uh, uh, ghost, and um, those do keep their variegation. So I would highly recommend those. It's a very slow grower for me there here, though. <clears throat> All right, so this one is a Izumi Nishiki. Uh, I think that's what it is. Um, and again, another vigorous grower. It's probably about 10 feet tall and um, really beautiful. All right, so here's the geisha gone wild. And uh, yeah, she seems to be doing pretty good here. Nice. <clears throat> uh, over here is Radiant. Uh, and this is probably going close to 12 feet tall. Vigorous grower again. Not much variegation, unfortunately. Behind it is Elegance, and it too is probably about 15 feet tall maybe and uh, really beautiful in the fall. And uh, when it first leaves out, it's beautifully kind of peachy, if I remember correctly. Um, first spring uh, Japanese maple to always come out is my Akane. Akane is just amazing. Oh my gosh. It, if it gets a little bit of sunlight, they are beautiful lemon and peach. It's gorgeous. Um, this one, Miyaki, Miyakami, parachutes. That's the word I always associate with it. It is a really cool little leaf shape when they first come out because they look like parachutes. This one is Orange Dream, I think. And um, it did not like full sun. It was in the front yard and I had to move it to the back. So it doesn't get much sun now because of the large live oak over it. But um, it seems a lot happier, and it's pretty green bark, too. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Uh, here's the Ryusin that I took that trimming from, from the front yard, uh, and, and did the air layering to it. And it is, this one is also one that loves a lot of sun in Florida, and it has just the most beautiful form. I'll do another garden tour of my Japanese maples when they're uh, leafed out more. And then over here, is um, <clears throat> another Hanama toy that only sometimes seems to leaf out proper. More sunlight on this one seems to be better. This one is not going to stay here for much longer. I don't believe any plant should live its entire life in a pot, and this one's been in here probably three years since I've done a root uh, pruning on it, so it's need to go into the landscape. I'm just still contemplating where I'm going to be putting it. And then over here... Oh, it's another green cut leaf weeper, but I cannot remember the name of this one. Oh, sorry. And then <clears throat> I have some um, blood goods here. And um, you can see this one's probably pushing uh, 20 feet. Um, when it's fully leafed out, I'll do an upshot on you because it is gorgeous. And then I have another red one here. I think it's Emperor. Not as vigorous um, as the blood good, unfortunately, but it's still pretty tall. It's probably about 10 feet tall. Uh, this one here is the red-faced monkey. I can't remember its uh, Japanese name, but it moved from the back where it wasn't getting a lot of sunlight, and I think it's happier here, so that makes me happy. Now we're gonna go over here. And um, 
there used to be a ginkgo over here, but it died. It was, it was a really pretty white variegated one. Um, this one, Mateo. Man, uh, it is really cool because it has brown and red strap leaf kind of coloration to it. I cannot remember the name of that one right now, but that is really a pretty one. Um, what else do I have over here? So here's one of those Korean maples that I uh, put in. It has um, really pretty yellow and green stained glass sort of a look to it. And then I have uh, this one is Sycamore. Sycamore, yes. Oh, finally remembered one. Oh my gosh. All right, so this one is Sycamore. And um, really uh, great form. It's been sitting over here for several years, but it had a lot of roses around it. So you couldn't see its form very well. But now I think it just looks absolutely glorious. And then the prize winner for um, best uh, <clears throat> Japanese maple um, in full sunlight, it's got to be Heartbeat. Developed in Australia, um, can take those heat and humidity like a champ. Over here is my Mukawa. <clears throat> it looks amazing. Really slow grower though, my friends. So slow. I know it's hard to see, but it is there. And then I have another Korean maple right over here. Uh, and it's um, part of those ones that Mr. Maple has. So I got all of those because I thought they would do well since Usugumu did so well here. And it's kind of similar in leaf shape and everything. All right. <clears throat> and then in my uh, forest room back here, I have more. Uh, this one is... Um, uh, rainbow so that is rainbow uh, back here oh gosh another one I can't remember but it is beautiful I'm thinking about moving it I love it so much but there's one here and then oh, we're in the zone of no names I just cannot remember this one this one's another one sometimes when I see their leaves come out it'll jiggle that memory um and then I do have a red dragon so let's get the red dragon <clears throat> so this is my red dragon and it is beautiful oh my gosh what great contortion of those limbs. Phenomenal. And then I know I have one more back here. This one is supposed to be eye candy too. Um, but not terribly variegated, but it is a great form. I really love this one. And it's perfect for this space too. And it's starting to leaf out too. <clears throat> and I just got to show you my, can y'all see that? Oh my gosh. That over there is my, my cherry tree. Ooh, I have two of them, but this one, mm, it is just popping. And I need to get some fertilizer on it too. And then this is my almond tree. It's a Hall's Hardy Almond. Almond. Uh, and it's got a few buds coming off on it, too. It's a little slower to take off for me. I was hoping it was going to be a fast, vigorous grower, but that's okay. I got a lot of candy from my eye right here. All right, y'all. I know I missed some. I'm, like, looking around. I thought I had more than that. I know I missed some. And I'm going to see them as I'm walking around fertilizing. But right now, I just gotta fertilize. So that's what we're gonna do.
that little strap leaf one that I have forgotten about. His name is Manyo no Sato. I knew I would remember it. And then I used to have like four over here, but I don't see them. Maybe they didn't make it over the winter. And I'm going to wait till I see some leaf action to see if any of those made it. <sighs> Let's go ahead and take care of the rest of these. Definitely felt like I was missing some. I just can't remember where they all are. I'm sure when they start to leaf out, I'll be able to hit them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my citrus. Oh, I should do my blueberries too. Oh, they are acid-loving plants, and um, or my azalea uh, camellia fertilizer would work on those as well. Um. Gosh, they are blooming up a storm. I really need to hit those. Look at that. And I probably have about 10 bushes on my property. Um, but, you know, if you can't grow cherry blossoms, you can do blueberries because they have a very similar kind of a look. The, Of course, the flowers are bell-shaped, but they're still pretty. I'm just saying. Little snow drifts going on here. Like snow blowing in the wind. Oh my gosh, I need to make a haiku. Well, that's what my trip to the grocery store is going to be about today, is getting some more fertilizer. I will not be looking at more bulbs and bare roots or anything else that they have. Um, <clears throat> so, I hope you're able to get out. And this is that time of year where you need to be fertilizing too. I'm sure your gardens are beautiful also. <sighs> Feels good knowing that I saved that citrus tree. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. All the new leaves on it, so exciting. I even see some flower buds starting. Yes, success. All right, y'all, until the next one, I hope you're able to go out and make something beautiful in your world. And until then, bye, y'all.